Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Today, we're in the Clayton. However, today's video is a little different than usual. If you've read the title, you probably already know what it is, but today we're off to Loch Lomond on a little bit of an adventure. So join us, we'll take you guys along, see what we see, so let's go. just got off the train we're in a place called Balak I don't know if anyone has heard of that um, what we're about to do is firstly we're about to book a boat <laughs> that's a tongue twister <laughs> uh, book a boat tour that takes you along Loch Lomond tells you a little bit of the history so that's a first for us we're gonna do that and we're also going to take a trip to the Sea Life Centre so let's go so we, just after we got off the train there and filmed that first little clip, we needed to check a map and we noticed right outside the train station there was a little information centre slash shop, gift shop sort of thing and good thing we went in there because we would have walked the complete wrong way but the woman in that shop was a great help she gave us a physical map and told us there was a nice scenic path at the back of the information centre that leads all the way to the Sea Life Centre. She was really helpful, she actually told us a few other things that we can do here, so if you stay tuned, <laughs> we've got a few surprises in store. Um, join us and let's go. <laughs> We're still on the walk to the Sea Life Centre, however, We've seen a little path off to the side and we just wanted to take a moment to appreciate the sheer beauty of Loch Lomond. Look at this guys, there's some nice little boats over there. I'm going to turn you around, oh, you hear that actually, there's a little plane up there. <laughs> but yeah, when I turn you around and you see the site that's behind me, it just shows you what a beautiful country Scotland really is. Look at this. Look at that. That, to me, is just stunning. Life doesn't get much better than standing on the shores of Loch Lomond on a Saturday morning just appreciating this. <laughs> There's no other words to describe it, it's just simply beautiful. So let's continue <laughs> this amazing journey. <laughs> so that's us actually finally arrived at Sea Life. I say finally, but from the train station to here. Oh, Tasha's actually pointing at <laughs> a couple of ducks first. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> The walk, honestly, from the train station to here, it says 10 minutes on the map, but if you walk straight here without distraction, it's not even a distraction, the lock's beautiful, but without stopping, if you just walk, it'll take you 5 minutes, 10 tops, but yeah, about 5 minutes to get here. It's really not long, and if you're travelling from Glasgow City Centre, we have a rail card, and for both of us to get a return to here, it was, what was it Tash, £8? £4.25 each. Yeah, £4.25 to each to get here and back to Glasgow. Without a rail card, it's £13. Yeah, so without the rail card, £13-ish. And with it's £8.50 in total. <laughs> so easy. So let's go inside and check out Sea Life. <laughs> Walk Lomond.
What a cool sized tank. Suck your. Hello, Mr. Ray. Sea horses. Now, this tank here is enormous. It's huge. <laughs> Over there. We'll take it in, but there is a giant turtle. See if you can get his back. You can see it from above. Oh, and just below. Some rays. They're up saying hello. <laughs> Let's go around and see the, the turtle if we can get it around here. Oh, there it is. Yeah, he looks like he's been injured. That's amazing though. <coughs> <laughs> oh, he's saying hello. <laughs> Say hello to the viewers, Mr. Turtle. <laughs> Any Finding Nemo fans? <laughs> this is a tank for you. Absolutely packed. We're climbing fish. <laughs> Look at them. Hundreds. Look at that lobster. This tank really magnifies the size of them, but it's honestly huge. <laughs> you ever seen a lobster this big? A big Joe Puffer. They had a funny reflection on their face, and that's so funny. Amazing. Just swimming up and down. <laughs> Woo! size of that ray. This video isn't going to translate the sheer size of these. <laughs> but let me tell you guys. That's probably taller than me. <laughs> these are bigger than Tash. <laughs> They're I'm sharks. <laughs> They're definitely bigger than me. But let's hope that some come back around because seriously wow. This tank blows you away. There's one yeah, it's just, one sleep, just kind of hiding. Maybe if you zoom in, you'll be able to see it. Though. See it. And then. You can just see its mouth breathing a wee bit. Mm. Oh, no. <laughs> Full of oh, Another little clip. The biggest fish I've ever seen. Just popping his head out. I'll zoom in for you guys. Just to show him. <laughs> he is huge. And all the sharks in there as well. He is much bigger. Or she. <laughs> bigger than all the sharks. Oh, and there's a little shark as well. I say well, that's enormous as well. <laughs> Now we're in the tunnel. This bit is awesome. The sharks. Things on both sides. Even the skates. Is it cool. It's a cannon. Oh, look. Is it a skill and vice? 
<laughs> There's a big sleeping fish. window just round the side there. <laughs> we still just are blown away with the size of that fish. If you get a chance to come here, definitely come and check this out. It's worth it. <laughs> We're in the tunnel. We're at the end of the tour. But that's isn't the end of the video. Oh, oh no, missed we missed it. it. There was a fish right above us, but yeah, this is the way out. Then there's a tunnel. That's not the end of the video. So keep watching, guys. Not the end here, of course. But there is a gift shop. <laughs> You've been to a sea life before. There's always a gift shop, <laughs> and there's a fun stingray. There's loads of different merchandise in here. Head stuff here. Hundreds of plushes. Official Sea Life merchandise as well. <laughs> that one looked like you, Tash. <laughs> and there we have it. So if you come up to the third floor in Sea Life, before you leave, don't miss this because there is a coffee shop. That's behind me, but I'm not here for the coffee. I'm here for the view. <laughs> this is the best Good bit. Walk woman. <laughs> what a view. So we've finished sea life. Um, <laughs> it didn't take long. Uh, we'll speak more about that later, but uh, we're up on the top floor just before we go. So that's actually above the coffee shop and <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> the view is amazing. Huge, huge walk. And a little girl running into the video. <laughs> but, yeah. There she goes. <laughs> the lock is just behind me. So if you're here, come up to the fourth floor and you'll get an area called the lookout. And that's this. <laughs> so you might remember earlier I said we had a few surprises. <laughs> Well, this is what we meant. <laughs> We've managed to rent a pedal boat and we're currently sat on Loch Lomond. <laughs> the view in the middle of this is, as I've said so many times now, amazing. The price was £25 for half an hour rental, but not many people, <laughs> excuse that noise, that was me starting to pedal, <laughs> but yeah, not many people can say they've rented a pedal boat in the middle of a foaming. You see that green marker over there? That's as far out as we're allowed to go. So we're just leisurely pedalling along, taking in the view, enjoying being on the water. Thankfully, it isn't raining. It's a nice dry day, a little cloudy, but at least it's dry. It is cold, we're in Scotland after all, but yeah, <laughs> I'll turn you around and you can actually see a boat over there. We're not too far out, but yeah, pretty awesome if you ask us. Would you agree Tash? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that view that we showed you earlier from the lookout point, the water in front of that, that's where we are. Um, <laughs> Stop talking for a second there, I was taking in the view, a little 
<laughs> shop, how amazing this is. But you might remember I mentioned that sea life didn't take very long. If you've done sea life before, you'll know what I'm talking about. There's a few up and down the country. The Loch Lomond one, there, don't get me wrong, there's a lot packed into a really small area. So there's a lot to see. But saying that, it's a really small area. It was steep cost wise, £34. You're probably better with a Merlin annual pass, you'll get in there with that. But yeah, there's a lot in there. But as I said, it's small, so it won't take you long to get around. So bear that in mind if you're coming to Loch Lomond. Fun, nonetheless, but it doesn't take long. <laughs> So anyone that's rented a pedal boat before will know it may look easy but it's certainly not. We're exhausted. It's only been half an hour we're out here. We're on our way back to the shore. But it's definitely not easy. My legs are shattered. <laughs> the sun's out though, so we're loving every second. On our way back now. And next up, we're doing the Sweeney Cruise, is it? Sweeney's Cruise. Yeah, Sweeney's Cruise. And that takes you further out on the Loch Woman, so let us know down below, actually. I forgot to mention. Down below, what did you think of sea life? Any fish you've seen that you thought were cool? We love the turtle. And I actually seen on a little information board that turtle was a rescue turtle. Hence the missing limbs, <laughs> but it's amazing to see that they do stuff like that, rescue fish and other animals. The otters as well, those were so cool. <laughs> yeah, down below, let us know, what was your favourite fish that we showed? We didn't show everything, but from what you could see, what's your favourite one? Comment, have you been here before? And if not, would you? And stay tuned because next stop is the boat tour. Hello ducks. <laughs> this dog is square going this one. <laughs> So we're sat here, nice and early, about to board the Sweeney Cruise Company boat that takes you out onto the lock. We're a little bit early, there is benches you can sit, so we're just going to enjoy the sun and wait to board. So let's see what this is like. Hopefully it's good. Tickets were 15 50 so, and that says online it should roughly last about an hour, was it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. An hour, so pretty good value. Good Hopefully, value it's good. For, best value for money thing we've done today. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> so, hopefully, it's good. Let's go. Get any better than that? That's so cool. Look, there's a wee building over there. Wow, 
see the sun up on the mountains as well. Mountains, hills. The distance I can see. I can see snow as well. <laughs> Over there. There's some boats. Oh. And a jet ski. <laughs> That's cool. Below, would you come out on this boat tour in the middle of Loch Lomond? Because <laughs> this is pretty cool. Ah, you hear that on the speaker there. You can see over there. That building there. That's Cameron House. <laughs> I thought it looked like a castle at first. Who's have seen a boat like that before. I never have. It's got a solar panel on it. <laughs> Boat's called the silver game, yeah. That was the boat tour finished with the Sweeney Cruise Company and yeah, the signs above us, <laughs> <laughs> can't really see it, but I can't recommend that enough. That was absolutely brilliant. Very cold. Yeah, rookie mistake for me not bringing my jacket because now I'm freezing. I was not cold, but he was cold. <laughs> Tash, on the other hand, she was smart, she's prepared for the occasion. I'm not. So that's my only suggestion. If you go to that ever wrap up, especially in February. It was a sunny day here on the mainland earlier. So I thought, ah, I'll be fine. I go out there and especially at the widest point, it's frozen. The actual but, boat was toasty. We just yeah. spent all <laughs> the time outside. We decided to stand at the very front of the boat the whole time, just for the viewers to really appreciate it. But inside, if you, you can sit down, we chose not to. You can have a wine. You can have yeah, a they, wine. there's a full bar in there. You can get teas, coffees. But yeah, if you're at Loch Lomond, you're in Balloch, come and check it out. It's definitely worth it. And just like that, that's us back in Glasgow. We're back in the Clayton again for a second night. And 
honestly, we've had such an amazing day. I'll run you through a few of the things, just, I, I can't recommend what we've done today enough. Um, I don't know if I mentioned earlier when I spoke about the gift information centre that we got a couple gifts. So I just want to show you them because I thought they were so cool. I've got them on the table in front of me. But we got this little Loch Lomond mug. That's a gift for my mum because she's looking after our cat whilst we've been away. <laughs> Any cat lovers? In the comments, have you got a cat? What's it called? <laughs> Ours is called Buffy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> ours is called Buffy. <laughs> and we got ourselves a little fridge magnet. It's the same artwork, but we really liked it when we seen it. And everywhere we go lately, we've been getting a fridge magnet. <laughs> Last one we got was the transport museum. If you've not seen that vlog, then check it out. That was our second ever video. That's worth checking out as well. But Balloch, Loch Lomond, we didn't actually realise how easy it was to get there. The train took about 50 minutes and with the rail card especially, it was so cheap. 50 minutes away as well, I didn't realise how accessible it was um, just via public transport. And we didn't realise either how much there actually was to do there. When we googled it this morning, this was a last minute trip. And yeah, when we googled it this morning, I seen there was a sea life centre. We just decided, let's go on an adventure, see what's there. We'll go for it. And when we actually arrived, there was loads more than we realised. And we're already actually planning to go back. But... The Sea Life Centre, um, that was awesome. That was really cool. Uh, after that, the, we went on the pedal boats. We had some laugh on those. Uh, the company, actually, that was called Loch Lomond Leisure. So if you're ever taking a visit there, there's loads of activities that that company does. You can actually rent out bikes, paddle boats, speed boats, the pedal boats you've seen us on. Um, they, they give you your life jackets and everything as well and just for those views alone and that experience is definitely worth it and after that we went a nice walk there's a bird of prey centre as well that's one thing we need to actually check out when we go back um, but after that that's when we went to the Sweeney's Cruise Company and you'll see the video you've obviously watched it to this point so far but what did you think of that? We really enjoyed it. You won't really be able to hear from the clips, but there's a lot of information being given when you're on the boat as well. Some historical facts about the area and what you're going by. Some of the famous battles that have happened near there. There's castles and, well, castle at the side of the lock as well. And my top tip I said it earlier, but my top tip, especially in the winter months, wear a jacket. <laughs> I was freezing, and on the sh like on the shore on the mainland, it was sunny. I felt quite warm, but out there in the middle of the loch, trust me, it's cold. <laughs> we we were silly, but we enjoyed the view. But we did stay at the front of the boat. It was freezing, and I should also mention. Tash has shown me a <laughs> sign to say this in the background, but the facts in the video were, it was Neil Oliver. You've you've maybe seen him on the TV before. Castle um, Man. The ca Scottish history castle man. I'm Neil Oliver. Aye, it was that guy. <laughs> he was the one giving the facts. He wasn't there, but it was audio played out on the, whilst we were on the boat. And this was actually off season for the Sweeney's. Boat Company, Sweeney's Boat Company, Sweeney's Cruises, um, they also offer loads more tours when it's in season, but even off season, that was awesome, that tour took an hour, and I'm, I'm going to be speaking about it for the rest of my life, I didn't ever think I'd be out in a boat in the middle of Loch Lomond, so let us know in the comments, what do you think of our day out, would you do it? 
would you love to do it? Maybe you don't stay anywhere near, but if I can recommend it to you, I'm gonna. And it's definitely worth checking out. If you can get a chance to get to Loch Lomond, absolutely do it. So as usual, if you can, please click subscribe. That means a lot to us. Drop a thumbs up on the video. And thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, we've been Forest Thrills. See you later.